Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and before we get started with this video tutorial I just want to review a couple of the basic steps. Number one, what we're going to do is just copy code from my blog to a blank notepad file if you're using Windows or a blank text pad file if you're using Mac. Please, please, please do not use Microsoft Word or any sophisticated text editing program because those programs can mess with the code a little bit but just enough to destroy your whole WordPress blog so you don't want to do that. After you've done that you're just going to copy the code from the notepad file and paste it into the custom functions file in your thesis theme and then step three you're done that's it and that's all. Now to get to my blog I believe the easiest way is just type jupitergym.com into the address bar at the top of your web browser and then when you get to that website at the very top there's a link in the middle of the page to jupitergymsmarketingteam.com just click on that and you're at my WordPress blog. The other reason you want to get to my blog not just for the code for this video tutorial but you're going to find a link there to a 415 page thesis manual that you can buy and it is in my opinion the number one thesis theme manual on the internet today. Now the first bullet point there you can see the demonstration blog I'm using for this video uses WordPress version 3.1.1 and the thesis theme version 1.8. You do need to be using of course some version of the thesis theme in order to follow along with this video tutorial. Okay, let's get started. And we are now at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. I'm just going to scroll up and down real quickly so you can see it's just an average ordinary WordPress blog using the thesis theme version 1.8. And by default, thesis theme puts the navigation menu across the top above the header section. So you can see it's got the nav menu, it's got sub menus and sub sub menus and all that stuff no big deal. I'm going to move it so it's below the header section. I'm going to show you how to cut and paste some code to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is just open up. This is a, if you look up here, you'll just see that it's a notepad file. And we've got some code here. Once again, to get to the code, the easiest way I think is just go to jupitergym.com, type that into your address bar in the browser. At the top of the website, jupitergym.com, there is a link to my blog, jupitergymsmarketingteam.com. Once you're there, look for this post. In that post you're going to find this code. Once you find the code, you're going to copy it and you're going to then paste it into a notepad file in Windows, a textpad file in Mac, and even though we're not going to modify the code, the reason I want you to paste it into notepad is so you can just take one last look at it before you paste it into that custom functions file because it you just get a bigger look at it and you can just make sure that you haven't left off any code at the end like this or any semicolon or any little tiny little thing could spell disaster for your blog so you want to copy it onto notepad textpad take a look at it one last time even if you're not a programmer you might be able to catch something that just looks like it's unbalanced or out of line highlight it Control C, press the Control key plus the C key to copy on Windows, Command C on a Mac. I'm going to click on the white space to deselect. I'm going to minimize the screen. We're back at the blog. I'm going to click on this tab in the browser to get to the dashboard of Jim's Max JXL marketing team where I've already logged in. We're going to scroll down to where it says Thesis. Click on that. Go down to where it says Custom File Editor and then you'll see it says custom.css. You're going to click here to get the drop down menu. You're going to go to customfunctions.php. You're going to click on edit selected file. And then this little warning is going to show up. It's kind of got a gold tan background, whatever you want to call it. Read it and heed it. It's a very important warning, ladies and gentlemen. What it's saying is you must back up this custom functions.php file. The way to back it up is to use an FTP connection and back it up and save a copy on your computer because if anything happens to this file here and now it could potentially destroy your blog. Now if you have an FTP connection all you do is take that backup copy, FTP it 
upload it back to the WordPress blog server, and you're back in business. Not a problem. Good FTP programs are FileZilla, FileZilla for Windows, or Transmit for Mac. Okay, now let's scroll down here. We're in the file. Just go to the very end and just put your cursor right there. Press Control V to paste, Command V as in Victor on a Mac, and you're done. Just click that Save button one time. Now we go up here, right click, and you get the down menu. That's going to be a little different on a Mac. I think it's Control or Command, and then click, and you get the drop down menu. Anyways, open link, a new tab. Click here. Now, the menu has not dropped down, so what I'm going to do is just pause this video and wait a while. And I'm glad this happened once again, because if it's happening to me on my blog, it's probably going to happen to you. So all it does is sometimes is just takes time. And another thing you can do um, to help speed things up sometimes is log out. For whatever reason, sometimes just logging out makes the process go a little faster. So now I'm going to go over here, this mouse, click here, mouse over this section, says back to Jim's Max GXL marketing team. Bing da bang da da boom. And you can see now it does work. So we're done. That's easy. If there's a like button under the video, please click it. Please leave your comments. They keep me motivated. And please subscribe to my blog at jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com so that you can get the latest and greatest updates on all the videos I'm creating for Windows and the thesis theme. And you'll also get a link, like I said, to that 415-page thesis theme manual that you may be interested in buying. Take care and have a great day.